so hello and welcome to this week's angling blog this week you join us back on the banks of the river in that same swim we fished last week on the feeder but this time we're going to be fishing the float for bream this month marks three years since joining the team at Corham. during that time i've been very fortunate to see some amazing products come along but as you guys know i'm a stick float angler at heart so when i heard about some stick floats coming to the range i was super excited and in this video we get to take them bankside and go fishing so before we do get into the video i just want to say thank you to everybody that leaves such nice comments on the channel and are subscribed to the channel if you are new around here please leave the video a like and if you do enjoy it feel free to subscribe down below and i do hope you enjoy the video all right hello and welcome to this week's angling vlog this week you join me back on the river where we had that nice net of bream on the feeder but today we're going to be fishing the float so filming wise today just a bit of a heads up i have left me um attachment to put the camera on at home so a lot of the vlog today is just going to be on the gopro and the front facing camera so looking at the setup we're going to be using today to fish the float I've got my 17 foot rod from preston and that's going to give me the range to get out behind the float on that inside line i've teamed that up with the cordon switch reel and on there i've got five pound dave howell line now that's down to the reason why i'm super excited to get out today and that is the new range of stick floats that have come to cordon now as you know as a stick float angler i'm super excited by these these fall in the range from 0.6 gram 0.8 gram 1.6 gram and 2 gram super excited to use them floats because obviously it fits right in with my fishing and hopefully we can get one or two bites on them today that's down to a bulk shot of dinsmore weight and i've got a two pound one ounce hook link down to a size 14 hook so looking at the setup we've brought the shaky box along with us today so we'll be sat down and comfortable got some ground bait mixed up from hinders um, we've got in there some sweet corn and some of the micro pellets we'll take a closer look at the side tray in a minute but looking at the swim you can see from last week we've got the little bit of pace coming off the edge of this reed bed and it is round about probably six six foot deep there and it's this line we're going to target today so we're going to be feeding hemp just in line with that shadow there and maggots up here and then just running the float over the top and feeding ground bait i've put one or two balls in that you can see on screen now already you can see there's a bit of bubbling in the swim so there's a few fish that have found the bait so a quick look at the side tray and yeah it's a proper bream side tray you've got some of the micro pellets there already wetted we've got around about two and a half pints of white maggot got some sweet corn for on the hook or for adding to the mix we've got the hinders hemp and we've got a tub of the ground bait now what i do is i scoop up some of the base mix which was the micro pellets and the ground bait from hinders at the start with a tin of sweet corn in as the base mix and then what it allows you to do is just control what you're putting in bit of a late start for me today had a bit of a lie in so it's about half past eight when we've arrived on the bank and to be really positive just feed a couple of balls of this ground bait on the last session we had plenty of bream so hopefully there's still a few about you can see just starting off nice and easy and um, we're using the 0.8 gram float just fishing it over depth a little bit just so it edges through There we go, there's the first one of the day. Starting off with a little good gin. <laughs> so just lining up with the, the shadow of that tree there gives us a nice backdrop to go over and a dark background. Just where I'm feeding the hemp, hoping that we're going to get the bites around about there. Just a nice distance down the swim and where it's settled. After the start of a good gin, looks like a roach. What a lovely little roach that is. The orange eye and fin perfect down its flank. It's a beautiful fish. 
So after catching a few of those smaller fish, that float has just buried with a much better fish. And you can see there a healthy bend in the rod and this fish is just holding and just plodding. And so we hooked him right down there just at the end of the rod tip. We have plenty of bites from them roach and then just got to take your time and just try and get him in. And what fun that was on the float rod. As I say, it's been a late start than usual today, but great fun. Catching loads of small roach, and then when the float buries and they find that ground bait, it's beautiful fish. So just holding it where I've been feeding that hemp and sometimes it's just about working out the swim you see we've just had that first bream and one thing it does show is the importance of presentation it looks like these fish have been here for a while on the session been plenty of bubbling when they've been going over so yeah definitely been about for a while and I do love playing fish on this 17 foot rod, I've played chub on it in the past and now we're playing probably he's going to be a bream but yeah just shows the importance of of getting that presentation right so what a lovely fight that was the river bream really do fight compared to the ones on the lakes and yeah you can see he's still fighting in the net but what a lovely bream and a great fight on that rod so when them bream are about keeping them in the swim is the key obviously there's one or two about they love ground bait but they can get through the bait most definitely just holding back see there I was saying before once you get the method right you see before we were just trundling through the swim now by holding back you know we're hitting fish that we were literally going over the top of and one thing that is instantly noticeable when these guys move in all them roach that we were catching at the start, you know, them few silvers we were getting, definitely disappear. And you see there, it's just holding, just right where we're feeding that hemp and that ground bait. That's why I love hemp seed so much, it's heavy, it gets down on the bottom. Just over that dark patch there. And definitely one or two about. So as you can see there, just holding it up for the camera over the net. And that's been probably the smallest one so far, that one. A good average size. Every other cast I am putting a little nugget of ground bait in. But every so often I'm just putting in one of these balls that is heavily laced with the hemp and the pellet and the corn. Having that box separate there with the ground bait in really does help you to control the mix. And straight away after feeding that ball, just going right in behind it with that corn and just edging it through. Let's say. There's definitely one or two of fish down there now. I'm thoroughly enjoying myself. And they all know about this reed bed down here most definitely. And so he doesn't feel the biggest. But when you've got a few lined up, it's just about feeding enough to keep them there. Not to overfeed them, 
just enough so you can keep getting bites and keep them in the swim. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down And these really are the days that I really enjoy Like when you're on the banks of the river In winter for the days Days where you can really attack the swim You know we've been feeding heavy With that ground bait and the hemp and the maggot you know, really attacking the swim and the fish have responded. Like I said at the start, super excited by core and bringing out stick floats. We all know on the channel how much I love my river fishing and stick float fishing. So yeah, I'm sure I'll have plenty of fish on them and as starts go using them, it's going pretty well. And the beauty of river fishing when one species moves out like them bream seem to have in comes another one been great getting bites today on the stick float right underneath my feet and great fun but it isn't too long before mr bream is back to gate crash the party a few balls of ground bait and he's pushed those roach straight back out and the floats buried with another bream Another one of those golden, hard fighting bream just coming to the net. So that does bring the session to an end there now. And considering last week I was blown away by the net, as you can see on screen now, this week on the float has been even better. So it was really enjoyable today playing those bream on that 17 foot rod and getting out with those brand new floats that are coming to Cordham, which you'll definitely see more of on the channel in the months to come. I really hope you have enjoyed this blog. And all that remains is for me to wish you all tight lines in your own fishing. And I'll catch you all next week. Tight lines.